make sure. Okay. Uh, so on page 150, number one, it says, a stone is thrown horizontally. Okay, we're going to have to interpret what that means. At a speed of 5 meters per second from, a, from the top of a cliff that is 78.4 <laughs> meters high. If you remember back to motion equation problems, the first thing we do is we're going to draw a picture and say which way is positive. So there's my picture. There's the stone or Mario ball. Okay, and he is thrown horizontally, and he's going to follow past something like that. Is that reasonable for everybody? Know what it's going to look like? Sure, right? Okay. And I will call up and to the right positive, and I'll draw a free body diagram. Okay. While it's in the air, it's not in my hands. It's just force of the weight down. And this tells me some useful information. You don't have to write this when you do the future problems. You'll just know it. But what does this tell me about the acceleration in the x direction when I look at this free body diagram? I say no forces, so the acceleration in the x is what? Zero. Zero. Okay. That's useful. Acceleration in the y. Look at this. You could sum the forces if you really wanted to and solve for it. Okay. I haven't given a mass or anything up here yet. It would cancel out if you did. It's negative 9.8. Okay. So that's something we know for almost all of our projectile problems, that would be the case. Almost all of them. Okay. All right. Uh, and the cliff was 78.4 meters high. I'm just going to put that on here. And what speed was he thrown with? What was his speed? Help me out. Five meters, Five meters per second. Now it said it was thrown horizontally. Thrown horizontally. So this is a case where do we need to calculate components? No, because it was thrown horizontally means it was thrown in what direction initially? The x. So it's like the vector, if I was going to draw it on an x, y axis, the initial velocity would just look like that. Okay? Yeah, if you want to call theta 0 and calculate components, you can. But uh, what is cosine of 0? No. What's cosine of 0? 1. 5 cosine of 0 will give you 5, right, in the x. And then what is uh, sine of 0? Zero, right? If you don't know that, it's okay. Plug in your calculator, it'll tell you. So the y component's zero, the x component's five. So the key word there is horizontal. What if this had been thrown five meters per second at an angle of 10 degrees above the horizontal? Would we have to calculate components then? Yes, we would. If there's a degree given, you're going to have to do components. If it's thrown horizontally, huh? -uh. If it's thrown vertically, what would that mean? Straight up or straight down? Would you have to calculate components? No, nope. sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. Depends on what it says. Okay. All right, so this is one where we've taken out the component step. Okay, so we're just going to focus on the projectile part. Okay. It asks us, how long does it take the stone to reach the bottom of the cliff? Okay, so part A is asking how long until it hits the ground. Okay, what does that refer to? Time. Time. Okay. So what do you think we're going to do? We're going to write our... Five variables. If we can fill in three, we can solve. Now we have to be careful. Okay? For time, this is why we did the opener with the Mario balls. What direction do we look at when we're solving for time? What, what affects how long it takes someone to hit the ground? Well, that's gravity, right? You go to the moon, would the answer be the same? No, it would take longer to hit the ground, right? So we look at the y, y direction. If you look at the x direction and you plug it into the equations, you'll get something like 5 equals 5. Okay. While that's true, does that help you answer how long it took to hit the ground? No. Okay. Or you'll get an equation you can't solve, one or the other. Okay. So we're going to write all the five variables for the y direction. Okay. So initial velocity in the y, and now you have to write the y. Okay. Why do you have to write the y? Because there's stuff going on in the x. You don't want to get confused. Okay. Final velocity in the y, displacement. Now you have to make those y's. You don't have a choice anymore. They have to be y's, okay, if you're talking about the y direction. And acceleration in the y. When you're filling these out, this is where the mistakes will happen. You may need to ask yourself maybe two or three times, what's the acceleration, and then say in the y direction, in the y direction, in the y direction, okay? And then if this isn't written, look at your free body diagram, but we know what it is. It's negative 9.8. Why do you have to find it in the y? Why? Why yes, that made sense. Okay. Because uh, what if we didn't have this force, would it ever hit the ground? If you didn't have if we didn't force. have weight, would it ever hit the ground? Oh, no. No. So what makes it hit the ground in the first place? 
the force that's in the y direction, the acceleration that's in the y direction. So what's going to affect how long it takes to hit the ground? What happens in the y direction? So that's all we're looking at. You could at. make this one million meters per second, and the time it takes to hit the ground would be the same. same. So the x direction will never get you an answer uh, unless they will talk about there's one time it might. But in most problems, it will not if you're just given the initial conditions. Okay. Okay. All right. So displacement in the y direction. That doesn't mean how far. How far is the x direction, like from the base of the cliff? The displacement in the y is going from here to where? The bottom, the ground. Okay. So how far do we go down? Oh my. 78.4. That should be in meters. Okay. We went 78.4 meters down. So the displacement, positive or negative? Negative. Negative. Question so far. Okay. All right. This is final velocity in the y, meaning right before we hit the ground. Okay. Right before we hit the ground in the y direction, is this thing, you, some of you will want to say zero. Is it zero in the y direction right before it hits the ground? No. No. In fact, it's its biggest value. So I don't know what that is. I just know it's not zero. Okay. Now, since it was thrown horizontally, okay, I can write up here initial velocity in the x is 5. That's my component. What did we say the initial velocity was in the y direction? Zero. zero. So we can put in a zero meters per second. How many things do we know? Three. 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 What should you get out now? Motion Your five motion, motion equations. You still need them? Get it out. Go ahead and solve. And I'm going to solve up here as well. Try it on your own, it's good practice. You get a head start, that's no fair. I know. I have, that's because I have the equations in my head. If you know what the equation is in your head, you don't need to get them out. You have, if you have the first three memorized, you don't need to ever get your equation sheet out. You don't need it at all. Believe it or not, those of you that go on to AP Physics, I will never make you memorize, but by the end of the course, you'll probably have uh, all three stuck in your head. And if you don't, I'll show you a way to get them stuck in your head. Make sure you plug in correctly. If you ever get a negative answer for time, you did something wrong. Okay. Did you, you get, get a plus or minus? Obviously.